What is it? Is it a famous painting or sculpture? A Beethoven symphony? Maybe a song or book that when you revisit it after a long period of time can almost transport you into the body of your younger self. What about food or perfume? Or maybe it's a film that you can recall as being a landmark in your development into who you are today. Whatever art means to you is perfect. Art is powerful no matter how you define it, and there's no denying that much. For this video, I wanted to discuss how my perception of art has morphed and taken shape over the last couple of years as I transition into adulthood. I hope by attempting to articulate my thoughts on this topic, I can help myself not only by expressing my opinions, which can be empowering, but by documenting where I'm at at this stage in my life and my understanding of the world around me. And maybe someone else can use my perspective as a jumping off point into thinking deeper about what art means to them. I don't know, that's a long shot, but anyways. For me, growing up sometimes feels like a class where you realize how ugly the world is, and although that has been a big part of it for me personally, um, I have also grown a deep and profound appreciation for art. For me, writing songs and poetry has been something I've done uh, to express myself since I was 14, even when I didn't realize it. Writing a song about a boy who didn't like me back didn't seem that deep, uh, even with how seriously I took myself at the time. But I realize now I was drawing on some deeper, more human part of myself and letting her be free. In the last couple of years, transitioning into college has been a bit isolating, and I tended to retreat inwards very often. This led to me writing probably a hundred poems in the last year. In dark, lonely times, I found solace in trying to word my feelings into rhymes. Sounds like I'm a rapper. <laughs> I also found myself being hypervigilant of my surroundings, viewing everything I saw, no matter how inconsequential, as potential avenues for inspiration and epiphanies. During this time, I became obsessed with Joni Mitchell and before that, I was listening to Radiohead pretty much exclusively. This music was so comforting to me, and it made me feel normal, and it justified my existence to myself, in a way. I also became a fan of TV and movie analysis YouTube, which, once I found creators that I felt really taught me something and didn't just want to rip apart the movies and shows that I thought I liked. <laughs> they made me think more deeply about the art form that is film and how much intention goes into a film's longevity. Creators I like, I will list below. As I have come to understand it, art is the physical manifestation of humanity. Art is the human spirit coming to the surface of our consciousness and taking a form that corresponds with one or more of our senses so that we can take and feel. When we smell a perfume that takes us back in time, when we eat a food with effort and care put into the presentation and flavors, when we watch a performance and feel so connected to a character's experience that we're brought to tears at their suffering and joy, that is what art is about. We feel a connection to our consciousness when we look at, hear, read, smell, or taste art. We feel our deeper purpose, our connection to God or the universe. Or the universe. <laughs> Beethoven was quoted as saying, there is nothing so beautiful as to approach the divinity and spread its rays for the human race. Throughout history, art has been a key puzzle piece in understanding the cognitive evolution of the species. The discovery of pre-human art led researchers to conclude that they were capable of generating and understanding symbols and abstraction. This is not to say that other animals are incapable of art, but it does prove that pre-humans of that time used art to understand the world around them, thus leading to the species evolution. Researcher PhD and visual artist Marinella Russo states in her paper, Empathy and Communication Through Art, Art is an essential element without which consciousness would not have evolved, bringing the human being what it is today. Art aids biological understanding. This matters because it provides another layer of reason to the appreciation and conservation of artworks. Art helps shape who we are and how we see the world around us. 
Art can provide us with a means for empathy where we may otherwise not be able to imagine, let alone internalize, the experiences of others. Whether that be because we are simply ignorant to a group's existence or because of a privilege we may hold in society. Art is humanity manifested. In a TED talk by Deb Willis and Hank Willis Thomas, they discuss their experiences. Deb, starting in the photography industry, made up almost exclusively of men during the 70s, and both of them being African Americans. Through their photography, they expressed their black experience and female experience, emulating stories of black joy, black love, and family life, helping the world to see how beautiful their communities truly are and using their artistic platforms to illuminate the lack of representation of black photographers in historical academia. Hank mentions the iconic I am a man photograph taken by Ernest Withers and states that it continues to nourish me. Art helps us by not only imagining but deeply empathizing with the experiences and worlds of others through its ability to empower and or educate our soul. Sometimes the miracle of being alive can get lost on us because our suffering feels like the only thing tethering us to the ground. Art, no matter how shallow or cerebral, offers some degree of escape and communication to our inner being. Through empathy, understanding, and love, we will change the world. One symphony, sculpture, dance, perfume, one poem at a time. What kind of art moves you? What makes you feel human and comforts you when you feel alone? What art inspires you to create? And what do you hope to say with your art? I'm curious to know, so please share however you feel comfortable. Thanks for watching and remember to take care of yourselves.